have the, have the changes you made had the impact that you wanted? Uh, they are starting to have this impact. Um, I um, just explained that uh, on the owner-occupied housing sector, uh, the recovery has been, uh, well, even somewhat faster than I had expected. Um, but uh, in the rental sector, where the, the changes in law are more recent, uh, the last change will get into effect on the 1st of July, um, we just started creating an even playing ground for commercial investors. So I'm not surprised that they are just dipping their toes into the water. And, uh, Round Hill is uh, one of those proudly into the water already. Um, but this um, development uh, still should gain force. Uh, and I'm um, uh, very busy um, with um, informing, or you could say converting municipalities that traditionally um, uh, talk uh, to uh, social housing corporations more than to private investors, and um, making them aware that they will need those private investors for a healthy housing market within their municipality. I would say that actually what the government's done and is doing is one of the driving factors in us investing in this market. Um, regulatory, the regulatory environment is, is critically important for any residential investor, whether you be in Germany, in the UK, in the Netherlands, and other places. I think when you see the regulatory environment in Germany and how they're reacting to the specific situation they have, the introduction of, for instance, rent caps on new lettings in Berlin, that's a very different market than what we find here, where the government is actively encouraging international investment and trying to find ways that we can invest sensibly and socially appropriately in, in social housing. Um, you know, we find it very encouraging and, and frankly it's one of the, the reasons behind our investment thesis here in the Netherlands.